Our WinForm spreadsheet control allows you to add Excel-inspired functionality into your application and deliver many capabilities your end users have come to expect. In this video, we'll look at how to get started with the spreadsheet control and create your first spreadsheet application. I'll start with a new project and select the DevExpress template gallery. Give the project a name and click OK. Here, select the spreadsheet application template and click Create Project. A ready-to-use spreadsheet application is automatically generated complete with a ribbon UI. Let's look at how to change the theme. In the Form Smart Tag, click Select Skin. In the Skin Name box, select a skin you want to use. Let's run the app and take a look at how it works. I'll load a sample XLSX document. You can format cells using commands located on the Home tab. For example, I'll apply a built-in cell style to the worksheet heading. Select cells that contain currency values and apply the corresponding number format. Another powerful feature of our spreadsheet control is conditional formatting. I'll create a rule that highlights negative numbers in the selected range of cells. Open the New Rule dialog. Select a rule type and enter the format criteria. Click Format. Select the font that will be applied to cells that meet our format criteria. The spreadsheet control allows you to perform complex calculations using formulas with different values, cell references, defined names, and various functions. Our spreadsheet formula calculation results have been engineered to closely match those of Microsoft Excel. Worksheet data can be visually summarized using a variety of built-in charts. The spreadsheet control allows you to create charts for the specified data, select the most appropriate chart type, change the chart layout and style, and more. In this video, I'll change the chart type to Line with Markers. Besides the Excel-inspired UI, the Spreadsheet Control provides a comprehensive API that enables you to create, load, modify, and print spreadsheet files in code. In this video, we'll show you how to use the data binding functionality of the spreadsheet to load data from a database into a worksheet. In Visual Studio, click Project, Add New Data Source. In the wizard, select Database and click Next. Select Dataset. Click New Connection. And in the Add Connection dialog, set your data source to Microsoft SQL Server database file. Click Browse and open our sample Northwind database. Click Yes to copy the local data file to the project. Click Next to save the connection string to the configuration file. Now select the Order Details view and click Finish. Switch to the code file and add the required namespaces. Declare an iWorkbook variable. The iWorkbook interface provides a comprehensive set of properties and methods required to manipulate a document in the spreadsheet control. Add a document that will contain data from the database to the project. In the Solution Explorer, create a new folder, right-click it and select Add Existing Item. Select the document and click Add. Set the document's copy to output directory property to copy always. Use the spreadsheet control.document property to access an object exposing the iWorkbook interface. Call the load document method to load the document into the spreadsheet. And let's run the application again. The loaded document contains a template for receiving data from the data source. Each column in the worksheet will contain data from the corresponding field in the order details table. Switch to the code file. Declare the create data source method and implement it. Populate the order details data table with data from the database using the fill method of the order details table adapter object. Implement the bind a data source method. Use the worksheet.databindings property to access the collection that stores all data bindings specified in a worksheet. 
Call the collection's bind to data source method to retrieve data from the data source and insert it into the worksheet. And let's run the application again. Data from the order details table is shown in the worksheet. Now let's calculate a total for each record in the table. Implement the calculate totals method. Assign the required formula string to the formula invariant property of subtotal range. Let's run the application one last time. Each cell in the total column contains the specified formula that has been automatically adjusted for each row in the table. And that's it for this video. To learn more about our spreadsheet as well as any of our other WinForms controls, make sure to check out the documentation on our website or watch the videos on our WinForms playlist. And make sure to subscribe to our channel to get all of our latest content. Thanks for watching, and thank you for choosing DevExpress.